Performing with the pad sampler. The pad sampler is a feature that lets you sample from an external source via the mic or line input of the cross, or from the performance of the cross itself, and assign the samples to the 16 pads for convenient playback and performance. Up to four pads can be played simultaneously. We recommend that you use an SD card. If an SD card formatted by the cross is left inserted in the SD card slot, recorded data and settings are saved automatically. Before using a newly purchased SD card or an SD card that's been used by a different device, you need to format it first before using it with the cross. This will erase all data currently on your SD card. Hold down Shift and use the Global Media button to access media. Page up to the Utility tab. Press Function and select Format, OK. You can name the SD card here. Select OK, then OK again to confirm. Let's sample a sound from the cross. Go to Program Mode. Hold down Shift and press the Sampler Active button to access the Sampler Setup window. Cursor to a pad where a sample has not yet been recorded, indicated as empty. Let's use A01 and press Rec, short for Record, to access the Sample Recording window. Press here to arm the sampler. Then press again to start recording. Play. When you're finished, press here to stop recording. You can record up to a maximum length of 14 seconds. Pad 1 is lit showing there is a sample assigned. You'll note the sample doesn't start as soon as I press the pad. Here on the screen, you can see that this front area needs to be removed so that the sample will play immediately. Let's move the sample start up to the start of the waveform. Zoom in a bit to get a more accurate setting. Press Function, select Truncate Sample, OK, then OK again. Press Exit and everything is automatically saved. I've copied a WAV file from my computer to the Cross SD card. It needs to be in the Data folder. Let's import it and assign it to Pad 2. Select Pad 2, Function, Import Wave. OK. Done. Press Exit. Whether you're in Program, Combi, or Sequencer mode, if Sampler Active is selected, the samples are always available on the pads. You'll notice that the sample stops when I release the pad. If I hold down the Hold button and play a pad, the sample plays all the way through, without having to press the pad for the entire length of the sample. To stop the sample from playing through to the end, press the pad. <laughs> 